To prepare for planting, it is important to have both your tractor and planter or air seeder set up in the cab app. To begin, select the equipment tile. Here you can edit existing pieces of equipment in your account or you can add a new piece of equipment. I am first going to select the tractor and build the tractor that I use with my planter or seeder. First by choosing the make of tractor and then the model. Next I will choose the steering type, whether it's articulated, front, or track and insert a name for my tractor that I will easily be able to identify later. Pressing done and next. Here you will see preloaded GPS measurements. These are for the factory installed specific make and model of tractor that you chose. If you've made any major changes to your tractor, it will be important that you take a tape measure and confirm these measurements on your piece of equipment. Here you can see hitch to rear axle, tractor center to GPS, rear axle to GPS, and GPS height. And you can see on the diagram where these measurements need to be taken. If any of these need to be changed, simply click into the box and add your new measurement. Once your tractor is complete, you can select done and it will now be added to your equipment list. Here I'm going to press add new equipment again and either add a planter or an air seeder. For this example, I will add an air seeder. Here I will choose the make of my air seeder and the model. Next, choosing how many rows my air seeder is and the row spacing. Here you also have the option to add custom spacing if you don't see it in the list provided. Next is the hitch style, whether it's a two-point pivot, three-point, or drawn. And you can select if you have an air cart with your seeder by choosing no or yes. Next, you will choose the air cart make and the model of air cart. Here you can select how many tanks you have and the display that you are using on your seeder. Here you will add a name for your seeder that you can easily identify later and select next. Here you can see specific measurements again for the make and model that you chose. Please note anything with a yellow dot beside it means that there is missing information that you will need to complete before you can add this piece of equipment to your list. You initially land on air seeder setup screen. This is showing the frame style and hitch style that you have previously chosen and the start delay and stop delay are preloaded which you can keep the same. Here the wheel distance is preloaded for the make that I chose. Next, I'm going to select Seed Exit, and here it's important that I add my controller. So I'm going to use the drop down and choose which controller I have running. Next, I can select Application A Exit and put a controller if needed. And finally, I will select Air Cart Setup. Here you can see the tank count is two, which I already preloaded. And the air cart position, I can choose if it's toe between or if it's toe behind. And here you will need to take a tape measure to your specific piece of equipment and measure the hitch to axle distance. Here I'm going to tap on the box and take the measurement there. Next, I will add my axle to rear hitch distance. And you can see on the diagram where I took these measurements. Once this is complete, I can press done and it is now added to my list of equipment. I can now make my tractor and seeder active when I head to the field.